I am angry. I am. I'll be honest with you. I am angry. I'm very angry about the situation. It was senseless and it shouldn't have happened. I came to the service. I wanted to be here to show support and show my respects. It was a beautiful memorial service. I hope it brings, helps bring closure. So it was nice that we could all come together and represent each other and be there for the fallen and their families and the victims. It's getting better day by day. It just at first, when, when it first happened, I think that everyone took it really hard, especially us with PTSD. Um, it just wasn't an easy thing to deal with, especially knowing that the doctor, he was a doctor, and he counseled soldiers with that. It's different when you deploy. You, you prepare yourself for these types of tragedies to happen. You prepare yourself for your friends to be killed or murdered. But, you know, when, when you're at home, you know, you don't expect things like these to happen, you know, ex especially coming from a fellow soldier. It makes you wonder if I'm... I'm supposed to worry. If I'm not safe here, it makes me think I'm going to be safe over there. So it kind of worries you. Because as you can see, I'm, I'm a father, too. When taps played, though, um, people got a little bit emotional. And then the firing of you know, other rifles, you could see people crying then. I thought it was uplifting and um, very hopeful.